<laughs> all right, so today we're gonna be doing curbside consults with Dr. Mike. I know that sounds fancy, but all I'm really gonna be doing is running up to people and ask them, is there anything I can do for you? How are you? No? I'm a doctor, is there anything I can help you with? <laughs> no. Hey, pigeon. I'm, a, I'm not a vet, but I'm a doctor. Hello. Hi, I'm a doctor and I was just wondering if there's anything I can help you with ladies today. Uh, Questions, <laughs> concerns. Should I, I can be answer all this cookie dough? <laughs> Is that really cookie dough? Yeah. How long should you go onto water? Wait to go into water after eating. Oh. So I think that's complete nonsense okay. that someone's mom said because one kid threw up once. If you do a lot of activity, whether that's swimming, running, going into water, you, your blood flow goes to that area and doesn't go to your stomach, so you get an upset stomach. But really, you can do it and nothing bad's gonna happen. Okay. I'm not feeling good. Why? What's wrong? I don't know. I want a GYN. <laughs> She's ready for the GYN. That's what's up. You look like that. <laughs> what is up? You're yes. What is going oh on? What's up, guys? Okay. I just studied for the MCAT. Okay. I was actually in a seven-year accelerated program, so I did one of those three years undergrad. It's so hard yeah. To get into that. <laughs> Are you ready to hear more questions? Yeah. Collagen. What, what about that? collagen? Collagen peptides. Makes up your skin. Okay. What? It <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it helps hate with hair. I'm sorry to tell you this, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything else. No. So if the reason why they sell it and why it's a great marketing ploy uh -huh. is that if you're deficient in biotin, which pretty much anyone in the Western world that eats a normal diet, a balanced diet, is not deficient. Oh, it's not? Oh, no, okay. because biotin is readily available in like meats and all the other oh, stuff okay. we eat. If you're deficient, yes, your hair will start falling out. Oh, well, I'm not deficient. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm a doctor. I was just wondering if you had any questions. One question. No? We heard that um, you can use uh, coconut oil. Okay, for? Um, instead of lubrication, is that safe? Okay. Yes, coconut oil is safe down there. In fact, women later in life, because they get some dryness, that happens because hormones decrease. Yeah. Actually, one of the things I recommend, and it works very well in my patients, is coconut oil. Oh. Better than all of that refresh and all the stuff that you buy over the counter. Oh. So coconut oil down there, in fact, I was thinking about making this a product where it's just like in a single serving that you can yeah. just push it up there. And I was gonna call it Coco Badge. Oh, Do you like Coco Badge? I like Coco Badge. <laughs> oh my lord. Can I overdose on Claritin? Once a day, no. Okay. Can you be like roaming around like all the time? <laughs> Definitely, amazing. yes. What is up? I'm Dr. Mike. I'm Nurse Aaron. Is it legal to give a um, generic drug? When I prescribe a medicine, on the bottom of the prescription pad, there's a thing that says DAW, which means dispense as written. Meaning if I write a brand name drug, the pharmacist, and I check that box, uh -huh. the pharmacist has to give the brand name drug. And I don't think there's much of a difference between the brand name and generic. It's not harmful or anything like that. Absolutely not. It's the marketing companies that are geniuses that say, mm. we have the name of the brand, so yes. we're gonna make, make sure everyone asks for this. Viagra. Everyone knows Viagra is Viagra, right. but in a couple of years when Viagra loses its patent and we can make a generic, right. it's gonna be Sildenafil. And guess what? Instead of being $100 a pill, it's gonna be a dollar a pill. Wow. And you're gonna okay. see guys walking around <laughs> uh, at attention. Immunotherapy. Okay, what about, what about it? Is it really the best cure for, for cancer? It depends, obviously, which type of cancer we're talking about, but the new types of immune therapy that we have, the vaccinations, the getting the bacteria to eat the cancer alive, all of this stuff is just happening now, and it is the future. How cool it would be if I can give you a vaccine and say if you get this vaccine, you'll never get a cancer. That sounds pretty awesome, right? The idea is that we don't jump too soon and start doing something before we have good research. It's always we look at the evidence first and then we figure it out, right? Boom. What's up, brother? I'm a doctor. Uh -huh. Is there anything I can help you out with today? Is it good to like use two condoms on women? Or just one? Never. Why? They have a high chance of breaking when you use two condoms. Really? Kids, stay with one condom. Yes. Totally. That's good a good know. question. Hey. What's up, boss? I, see you I am TV. a doctor. Thank you I so much. You and I said, man, this is a good looking dude. What can I do to help you out? What question you got? I'm going to be 60 years old. Okay. Young guy. I like it. Okay. One yeah. day. Right in here. Yeah. Zoom right up. I was such in pain. Were you out of breath? No. And what did you do? Nothing. 
Did it go away? Uh, eventually, but it took some time. So look, if it's just in one area and you're not getting short of breath, you're not having chest pain, probably nothing to worry about. Exactly. But if you feel oh, it moving oh, up to the chest, uh, 911. Bing, bing. You got it. Bing, bing. Oh awesome. my God, I watch it. Nice to meet you. Everything. You watch the YouTube channel? Yeah. We're filming actually oh, today. Really? Say hi to YouTube. Hi. Do you have Do you have a good medical question you want to ask me? Uh, I get like a lot of headaches. And morning, everything. nights. Yeah, morning, nights. After. Every day? Yeah, every day. Come on, every day? Yeah, yeah, I do. I talked to my doctor and she said it's because I don't drink water and you're but, dehydrated. Yeah, and but I, I I don't think so because I drink a lot of water. How bad one to ten is the headache when you get it? It's uh, it's not that bad, but it gets bad like sometimes. And what happens? You take an Advil or something, Tylenol? Yeah, yeah. Does it go away? Usually. Usually. Do you wake up with it in the morning? First no, thing when you open? No. All right, so that's a good sign, actually. Yeah. The fact that you don't wake up with it and the fact yeah. that it goes away with Advil yeah. means it's probably not scary. Okay. Do you eat well? Yeah. No. I What's the bad eat. stuff you eat? Juices. Juices? Yeah. Well, oh, that's a lot of sugar. When you get a lot of sugar going, yeah. you can get a headache yeah, from that, yeah, too. That's, yeah, that's true. So maybe when your doctor's saying drink water, she's really saying drink less juice, drink more water. Yeah. In its motility, in its motility, count. And it's being good enough to, to get pregnant. See, right, because they say like for women under 35 it's better. Well, how true is that for men as well? For women, the reason we say under 35 is better is because the quality of the eggs decrease and the number of eggs actually doesn't decrease, but it's just the quality of the eggs that decreases. It increases the chance of things like having um, a Down syndrome child, a lot of these like really serious issues. It doesn't mean that women shouldn't get pregnant after 35. In fact, I encourage it. It just means that we need to take a little bit more precaution, take some extra tests, maybe do an extra ultrasound somewhere in between. But for guys, yeah. It does, there is a slowdown, okay. but it's not as drastic. And if a guy has a child at 35 versus a guy that has a child at 45, that risk of the Down syndrome and all that doesn't happen. Thank Curbside you. consult with Dr. Mike. <laughs> Thank you so much. This will live on YouTube. Hey guys, so we just tried out this new concept, trying to prove that doctors are people too. We're relatable. You could ask us any question you want. So if you like the concept, leave it down below in the comments, share this video with your friends. And again, thanks for watching. I found you on YouTube. Okay, awesome. So now you're gonna be there. This is for YouTube. This is YouTube, yes. What? Yeah. Oh <laughs> you're gonna be on the I channel you found me on. Too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, what's the channel? It's Sarah Khan. I like sing and do covers and stuff. I know you haven't made your mind up here. Right there in my mind where you belong. Keep going, keep going, I'm in it now. I go hungry. In an average, right? How long do you think it'll take for you to get laid? <laughs> that is a medical question.